All right, let's clear our ISS5 with the high NFK strategy. I will directly do it on the challenge one, though you can use the same strategy for the normal one. Remember that uh, the condition for the S5 is that the, is that the boss will have 100 more defense. So um, odds damage is better. Also, challenge mode, the second phase of the boss will have more attack. So we're gonna use uh, help from Texa, uh, Texa, um, the Sculptor this time to increase uh, Oshi's stat. Anyways, um, Flag Vanguard to gain DP, Sculptor, Eya, Ifrit, another strong caster, I will choose Golden Glow. If you have, you can use KOB as well. Second skill maybe, and just, just activate uh, sometimes. Um, then uh, Hoshi. Seria, Mountain, Shining, and uh, Lapland instead of Thorns, because as I said before, Arts damage is better. Unless you have someone like Schwartz to melt the boss. Um, after that, the last three slots, guys, up to you. You can bring whoever you want. More Vanguards, um, Texalter, Sordor, Helidrops, NTR, whoever you want. It's actually pretty easy, this, this stage. Just needed to stall, successfully stall the boss with Hoshi. First of all, Flag Vanguard here, face on bottom side. To gain DP, then just deploy Aya to help kill the enemies because Elsa will leak. Now, Sculptor in the center to charge the skill. Now, Lapland face on right side here to block the enemies as well. Now, just keep waiting for DP. Okay. Now, deploy Seria here below, uh, below Aya. Ah, uh, she damaged the. He damaged Aya. I don't like Aya, not full HP, so let me heal a bit with the Seaborn. Okay, don't hurt my Aya. Okay, nice. Now just to deploy Golden Glow here, face on right side, to charge the skill as well. If get DP. Now the boss will use the skill on the three civilians, not a really big problem. Uh, wait. Deploy, um, how is it called, the Hoshi here, face on uh, any direction you want, to block. If you have the module, even better, so Hoshi can uh, block three enemies. Now deploy Ifrit, so let's wait for DP. Okay, Ifrit here, face on right side. If we get DP. Shining here, face on top side. You can retreat to the Flag Vanguard and deploy Mountain here as last operator. Instead of Mountain, here you have a lot of choices. Just whoever is able to um, solo this. Um, uh, with the help from Sculptor and the Shining to solo this enemy and actually survive a mountain uh, um, because it's really cheap. But you can use a Scuddy, you can use uh, Blades, uh, you can use um, Thorns, uh, yeah, even Thorns can work, uh, whatever you want. Let's just use Mountain. Okay. Now the boss will use uh, um, the skill of the reduced uh, attack speed and also uh, damaging to one civilian, because it's the only one remaining, and the, the last two operators will deploy. But it's not a problem, because your DPS are here. Uh, maybe, I, I guess you already know, but let me say again. You will... The only way to make this, uh, this debuff disappear is or you kill the boss, or you reduce his HP um, for 20% from when he started. So from now, 20% is around here. 20% 20 of total HP. So yeah, with your DPS, so you can uh, successful, successfully how to say, um, uh, remove the debuff, but not to the civilian, Zedge. Okay, the boss is dead, reviving, and nothing to worry about. Your operators will do it, don't worry. If you want, you can take a Hoshi third skill and, uh, and activate it uh, during the second phase. Uh, also, you can see mountains they can beat a lot of damage, but it's fine with the healing here. If you really, really are afraid, uh, I guess you could you can you can change Lapland into um, Sega here for more healing, or if you want, uh, just don't to use uh, Lapland and use uh, Exalter. And deploy the Exalter around the map whenever you need the help for. So doing this, you can have the extra slot to deploy Sordor to help kill the second boss, second phase of the boss, etc. Anyways, that's it. Uh, really simple. I hope this video helped you. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye.